January 25th. Good morning, you guys. A, uh, I did a little bit of study in here this morning on the Bible and going back over my dreams as well. I want to share something with you guys. I think it's very important. Um, you remember when Jesus with his disciples, um, where he said, um, Father, I have not lost any of them when they took him away. And he told the soldiers to leave them alone. And he said, Father, I have not lost any of them except for the son of perdition, which was Jesus. That's what it says in, uh, let me get it here. This is what it, where it says in uh, St. John chapter 17, verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. All right, and the son of perdition then was Judas, who betrayed Jesus. Okay, now we get back into today's time where it talks about the man of perdition. Okay, now who betrayed America? I mean, who everybody knows who that is. Well, everybody that you know, that's chosen, knows. That's Obama. He's definitely uh, set America up. I mean, I told you how I seen somebody with a post, a four by four post, smashing out windows in a log cabin. And, uh, and then they told me to say, tell them a bear did it. That's the only words I heard. Tell them a bear did it. You know, simple as that. And the four by four post, I thought that represented Obama. I mean, I mean, they could have been using anything, a stick or something, you know, but they used a four by four post. I know what a four by four post is. And Obama's the 44th president, you know. I didn't think of it at that time, but later I did. You know, when I seen him smashing it with the four by four post, I figured something big and, you know, but I put it together later. Obama, the 44th, four by four. Okay, now, the son of perdition here, uh, who opposes himself and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Okay, now this is in uh, in second. Thessalonians, okay? Um, chapter 2. Now, we know Obama betrayed America. We know this. And also, who betrayed Jesus was called the son of perdition. Okay? And, and where I, we just read that in, uh, in St. John, chapter uh, 17, verse 12. Now, same thing here in America. We were betrayed by Obama, which I've always said, Obama Nation. I mean, the name, everything in the book, I mean, it's like, wow, how come people can't figure this out? <clears throat> now, somebody shared their dream with me the other day, okay? And I'm going to say it again. I seen Obama where his eyes were constantly going in all kinds of different directions. I mean, really fast. All kinds. They never went in the same direction. They were always going in multiple different directions every which way. Really, really fast. It was crazy. He had normal looking eyes like this, but it was like everywhere. Now, somebody shared their dream with me where they said they seen like the sun coming into the, into the sky. They seen uh, Obama coming in. And then he slowly dimmed out till he was gone. And then they seen where Trump... The last Trump came in. And then he slowly went out like he dimmed away. And then they seen Obama come back again. But when he came back this time, his head was twisting in every which way. Didn't go out, didn't dim or nothing, but it was going in every which way. In other words, a lot of people are going to die. That's when he's going to be revealed. Okay? That's when he will be revealed. But it says... Uh, He's going to remove us from this before it happens, okay? The wise won't be here. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. 
until he is revealed. Except for come I fallen away first. And the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. We know who that is. Obama betrayed America. Okay, but also, we also know the Bushes were all part of it. They're all part of it. But Obama was the head of it. Okay. Now. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now lit it will lit. And he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy him with the brightness of his coming. You know. See. The Jewish people are expecting their Messiah. To show up 5777. Seven, seven. Now I told you guys. I took this photo. When I was 17. Okay. Now my birthday's in May. May 23rd. Now I took this in 77. When I was 17. There's three C. There's three sevens. That's the reason why a lot of people hate this photo. Because this photo's a message as well. Okay. All you have to do is do the math. Now, this May, I'll be 57. And the Jewish calendar is 5777. Okay? I know this is just a photo, but it's a message from the Lord. To let us know. Okay? I will be 57 in May. I believe any time between now and May, we could leave. Because I also know that the calendars are probably a little off, out of whack. More than likely they are. Because, you know, we got 30 days one month, 31 another, and 28 days next month. February is the shortest month of them all. Um, but I believe we could leave any time. My dream that I had last night told me even... Uh, where we were playing tennis, you know. Like I said, it was nothing professional about it. But uh, the guys came and chose. We were chosen. And he said, go back into the locker room. In other words, a place to be until things happen. Or, you know. But that's what happened. We went into the locker room. And then all of a sudden, we're driving down the road. And I seen uh, a, a, like a smokestack on a semi tr truck with... Just another one four four, didn't have the the O's behind it or nothing. Just one four four, and uh, so I'm taking that as the hundred forty four thousand. As we were going, the one four four were probably being sealed, you know, and things are gonna get really hot, I guess, because it was right on the muffler. Um, yeah, and then my the night before, my sister with the lions, four lions constantly looking at me for food wanting me to feed them meat and there's lots of pieces of meat everywhere but they didn't want that meat they wanted fresh meat and it was like they were like devouring it and whatever fell out of their mouths they, they didn't want it you know and I was like man where is she at when is she coming back here man and I was thinking why would she have this kind of animals for pets this is insane um let me tell you guys something, man. I never dreamed like this in my life. Not until the Pope showed up in uh, September of 2015. And see, that's when I doubled what Obama did. And see, Obama doubled what Bush did. And then if you look at that time frame, you know, from Bush to Obama, that uh, was seven years. Then Obama doubled Psalms 23. 23 is 46. That's what he read. And then the housing market crashed. Uh, the stock market crashed in 2008. 777. And then seven years passed after that. And that's when the Pope showed up. And that's when I started having dreams off the chart, man. I don't know if you guys could relate with that or not. When they started for you. But for me it was like that. But not only that, people were moving in all around me. And I mean, I'm talking people with like orange pyramids on the back of their skulls, on their heads and stuff. It was 
it was very, very strange and things were getting very difficult. I believe the Lord wanted me on the road like this, you know, because they were, it was moving in all around me, man. It was like getting really wicked. Um, but we are, I think we're getting ready to go. In that time, see, they're looking for their Messiah. This is the year 5777, okay? Now, like I said, this photo, I took it in 77 when I was 17. That's a 1717. Now, in May, I'll be 57. That's a 57. In 77 was this photo. That's the same as the calendar year. I mean, do you find that as a coincidence that it just happens to tie in? The same year as their uh, 577. I mean, really, look at this. Stop and think about this for a minute now, okay? I was 17 then when this was taken, and now I'm getting ready to be 57. And this was in 77. That's 5777. That's why people are speaking against this, me showing this photo. They don't like that I'm doing this. And the Lord gave this to me for that reason. I know he did. See, there's a picture that I took in the sky, and I believe this is the, uh, the Lord. I believe that's the Spirit of the Lord right there. See the color in the cheek? Then you can see a face looking down on the earth. Then it turns really quickly going forward. And then see this here? There's a chin and a mouth. I seen that whole face of the Spirit right here in a store. But he was smiling at me, and that's when a lot of, but he was moving really, really fast where I barely got a glimpse of him. It was really fast. Really fast. It was hard to even see him, but I did see him, and he was smiling at me. And then that's when I started seeing things everywhere, man. It was as if they opened my eyes. Let me tell you something, man. You have your eyes open to what's going on in this world. And you see what's really happening, it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. And then you'll understand why so many of these things were way outnumbered here. You got to remember, only five are wise and five are foolish, okay? And out of that, um, that's out of the whole world, okay? So a lot of you guys here in different parts of the world, your eyes are open, but other people aren't. You could have family members that look at you like, what are you talking about? Like, you're crazy. You know, they don't see what we see. And everything is meant to be this way. We're being, we've been, it's like a harvest. You know, we're the chosen. Like, I got picked on that team. Go back there, you, you know, you go back there. They were picking the people that they wanted. The chosen. And there's a lot of people that are going to be left behind because they're not, they weren't watching. They weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. It's like that church across the street over there. It's shut down, you know? It's closed. It's a big, huge church, too. Let me see if I can show it. You guys probably see it from there. You see it? That's a huge church. You know? It's a huge church. Very huge. But anyhow, I wanted to share that with you guys. We don't know how much more time. I know it's this year, though. I have no doubt about it. This is the year of his coming. Okay? The Jewish people are right about that, too. This is the year of his coming. But will they be deceived? Yes, because he's going to sit on, that, uh, on the temple. Well, he's going to sit there and call himself God. The Bible says that he will. Okay? The Bible clearly says that he will do this. And for anybody out there, this is a photo. The Lord gave it to me. That's all it is. It's nothing to be worshipped. It's just a picture. Yeah, you know, I ain't making it out more than that. It's all about Jesus Christ. It's all about having the blood of Christ on you to be saved. It's all about repenting. But that photo is a message. It is a true message. And I'm telling you, the time's at hand now. Between now and in September. They're looking for him to come in September or October. And I believe there's going to be a lot of chaos in the war. And, Ob and Obama is going to come back in. And chaos is going to happen. It's going to be devastating. It's going to be so devastating. People won't be getting messages out to each other. They're going to be just basically probably trying to survive. 
do what's happened. And most people won't even have the truth in them, the word, the real truth in them. You know, unless some of our messages here reach these people um, after we're gone. I don't know, you know. Like if the truck survives, you know, they see my Bible. I've got everything highlighted in there. Um, I got a few things in the backs, you know, little stuff to help survive for a little bit. But we know they're going to be martyrs then, you know. Nobody's going to survive this. It says it's coming on the whole world. Nobody's going to survive it. You're either going to be a martyr, you know, maybe some people. I don't know. I don't see how in between. It's going to be pretty bad. I wouldn't want to be here. You know, it's like this morning I went and had breakfast at uh, somebody sent me a certificate from Cracker Barrel. I went and got um, some uh, pancakes with this. And I saved this part of it for lunch. You know, just trying to make things last, just trying to get by the best I can. But this is definitely over, you know. We have to let go of what's in this world right now, okay. You have to let let it go because you're not taking nothing with you. Nothing. You won't take nothing. The only thing people are going to be holding on to is going to be regret with what's getting ready to happen. And you can be sure. Those of us that have eyes to see, we know exactly what time it is. And you know this is about to happen. There's no doubt about it. The calendar year, 577 of the Jewish calendar year. And then this picture, I am just happened to be turning 57. You know what I mean? And the picture was taken in 77. I mean, what? There are no odds to it. This is what the Lord has done. You know, it's what the Lord has done. This is getting ready to happen now. So everybody needs to be, um, you need to be aware. All right, I, we know the end's coming. I think it's going to be like within any time from now until uh, May even, you know, if not, if, if not sooner because we know war and all that's got to break out. Because for, for the uh, false messiah to show up, there's got to be a lot of bad stuff happening. And then people are going to be looking for somebody to straighten this out because it's going to be quick. You know, when you're talking nuclear wars, man, billions of people will die in that really fast. It's going to be really fast. You know? So, God bless you guys. I hope and pray that you got something out of this message. And I hope that this thing will load up here just fine. I'm going to see right now. God bless you. And please check the description box.